Cast. Look who's back. It's Jennifer Landa, Jay Landa. Hey! So what are we making today? Today we're gonna make comic book coasters. That's exciting, what, yeah, how, and what? They are coasters, you can put your beverage on, whatever beverage of choice you well, might I have. Well, I know what a coaster is, oh. <laughs> I think I am a Neanderthal. <laughs> whether you drink a Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster mm. or a Rubitini, <laughs> these coasters are perfect for you. Awesome, well let's get started. First, you need to find some ceramic tiles I found these at the hardware store. They were three bucks. Three dollars. Yep. And I think that they're used for like, what did you say, backsplash? Yeah, or... like shower tile, which yeah. is probably why they were three dollars. <laughs> exactly. Is there anything special you look for when you're selecting a tile? Um, you want it to have like smooth edges or even like a bevel like this. Oh, okay. That's okay. But you just don't want a tile where the edge comes up. So now it's time to choose our comics. Uh, I chose Avengers number eight. Nice. You could actually cut out a panel from the comic itself, but then it's gonna have a different look to it. So what I recommend is actually photocopying a panel that you like. Oh, that so you way, can preserve it. So what are you reading these days, comic book wise? I am reading uh, the new Ms. Marvel. I'm obsessed with her. Oh, very cool. She's yeah. Muslim, right? Yes, she is. She's also Pakistani American, which is awesome. What are you reading? Uh, I'm reading that Walking Dead. Just can I get enough of that Walking Dead? Is that your Walker voice? Now that we've photocopied it like that, you just want to figure out what part of the image you want to cut out. Okay. So you're just going to want to cut it slightly smaller than your tile. Okay. Just trace around it. Deja vu. And then we're just going to cut that out. Nice. Mm -hmm. We let Jennifer do all the cutting here at Dweebcast since you know you after all, you, you are a certified cuttist. Yes, I am. So I'm just now cutting it down a little bit more just because I kind of don't want the edges, uh, the edges of the paper to go over the sides. Yeah. I'm gonna do more flat. Cause that is ghetto. Okay, so now we have our little square cut. Nice. Hey, what's up, dude? Just coasting. Oh yeah, me too. I'm just chilling like a villain. I'm a West Coaster. <laughs> For life. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna use the Mod Podge yeah. to glue the image to the coaster. Okay. It's really cool, because we're gonna use it on the back. Oh my god, have you seen this stuff? It's like, it almost looks like Elmer's glue, right? Yeah. But the cool thing is, is that it actually dries clear, which is gonna be good, because we're gonna put it on the front. So why can't we just do this with Elmer's glue, since you know that's the only thing that I am permitted to use in my household? This actually, uh, I believe it's a little bit stronger than Elmer's glue, and also gives it a nice shine when it's all done. What about the psychotropic properties? That yeah. is also very appealing. Place it. So you do with the corner on the side, or does yeah, it matter? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you wanna try and, you can leave a little bit of an edge. So, so the beveled edge on the, uh, we do it top left, beveled edge, yeah, so it's the same, yeah. yeah. So then we're gonna press it down, like so, okay? Like Make so. Make sure that there's no um, air bubbles. That was a great decision to choose that part of that design. Really, you think so? Yeah, it looks Thank really you. good. Thank you, well, I, yeah. <laughs> we put the glue on the back, but we have to do it again on the front. Yes, and the reason why is you wanna seal in the design. This will help adhere it to the coaster. It's sealed, just like Heidi Klum used to be. What's oh! up? What is going on now? Cold. That's cold. So now we're just gonna let it dry for a, probably a couple minutes, and then we'll do another coat. You wanna do about four coats, I would say, to really make sure, oh to really make sure it's sealed in and protected. <laughs> So if you leave the tile like this, they're gonna be sliding all over your table. Scratching it all up. That's right, so we don't want that, so we're gonna use our handy dandy felt. Ah. And we're just gonna put it on the back here. And what are we gonna use? Good lord, Aliens Tacky Glue. That's right. Can we get a cheer from the crew for Aliens? <laughs> so now we're just gonna put some of the tacky glue on the back of the felt here. Does it matter like where we put it? Oh, you just wanna like a line of, around. Like a, like a little bit of a. Exactly, just like that, a Woo! line around, or a Z. Or Woo! whatever that is. Woo! That's perfect. We're going to take this and place it on the back of the mm, tile. Nice. 
So now our felt is ready to go and we are on to the next step. All right. All right, so we got the felt on. What do we do next? Now, once the Mod Podge is dried, you're going to apply an acrylic coating. Okay. We're just gonna spray it on. This will help, obviously, seal in the design and just create a glossy finish. This stuff is strong. Gee, Jenny, huffing all that glue sure made the two hours fly right on by. And how? Yeah, this stuff is really uh, potent. <laughs> Uh, it's a crystal clear. You can get it at Michael's, any craft store. And it's made by Krylon from the Krylon Regeneration Ship. All right, and we're done. We're done. For more awesome DIY stuff like this, what should we do? Uh, check out youtube.com slash Jennifer Landa. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. Special thanks to Jennifer Landa. This is Dweebcast. Follow, like, subscribe, make a comment, do whatever. See you next time. <laughs>